The goal of delivering inhaled anesthetics is to produce the anesthetic state by establishing a specific concentration of anesthetic molecules in the central nervous system. This is done by establishing the specific partial pressure of the agent in the lungs, which ultimately equilibrates with the brain and spinal cord. The pharmacokinetics of inhalational anesthetics involves their uptake through the lungs, distribution into various tissue groups, metabolism by liver, and elimination primarily through the lungs. The movement of an inhalational anesthetic from the anesthesia vaporizer to the brain begins with the delivery of an inhalational agent which is mixed with oxygen, nitrous oxide or air in a controlled concentration. This mixture called fresh gas flows through the breathing circuit and reaches the patient's lungs during inhalation. The concentration of an inhalational anesthetic in the gas mixture delivered to the lung is the inspired gas concentration. Once in the lungs, the anesthetic enters the alveoli, where its concentration called alveolar gas concentration creates a partial pressure that drives diffusion into the pulmonary capillary blood. The concentration of anesthetics in the blood is called arterial gas concentration. The anesthetic is then transported via the arterial blood to the brain. The anesthetic effect is achieved when the partial pressure of the agent in the brain, blood, and lung equilibrates. As we have seen, the final concentration of anesthetics in the brain is the result of the anesthetic concentration in fresh gas flow, inspired gas, alveolar gas, and the arterial gas. These four gas concentrations determine the uptake and distribution of anesthetics to the brain and other tissues.